Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Bright Torian, and welcome back to Hearts Arm 4 as we are playing with the Kingdom of Romania. Uh, so, one of the things I, I realized as soon as I was done recording that last episode uh, that I forgot was that if we want to do airborne invasions, we do need to get some transport planes. So, let's go and get those guys uh, build them. We'll just do like uh, five times, I suppose, and just kind of pull back. Uh, for some of the stuff we have a nice surplus of, uh, like I never did pull back the improved anti-tanks or the anti-air for that matter. I'm going to pull all those back. We don't need as many of these anymore. Uh, we're pretty stacked on all these actually. In fact, we could probably just go to two. Well, no, we're building. We're going to build more divisions soon. So I guess we'll put uh, three there and uh, maybe one more into infantry equipment. Uh, we've got the five and a transport planes and that's probably good. Uh, let me just see. Let's do anti-tanks bit more anti-tanks and maybe a bit more motorized as well all right that looks solid could also go ahead and tick more into the artillery there we go all right so let's see we, how we're uh, doing on resources we go ahead and stop trading for as much steel and we're gonna need to trade for a little bit more rubber here all right so that's good uh, we got the improved anti-air upgrade so let's go ahead and get the oh we're done here i guess we'll go ahead and start getting the the medium tanks guys uh, we'll get those resurgence so we're we'll about to build those for the war the next war not this one obviously you know what we should probably do uh let's go and get any troops that need to be trained let's just take them and put them into like a little training army here uh just get them training up uh any troops that are on the front and don't have regular level uh, let's go and start their training uh and we need to do this army Looks like the mountain troops are the ones that took the heaviest casualties. All right, so that looks pretty good. Could also train all these guys up for the, you know, the experience. We don't need, really need to, though. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty solid. All right, so let's just let those guys train up. Also, we can start building some troops, too. Uh, so let's get... I mean, we have a good deal of light tanks. We could always use a, a couple more, though. Uh, though I think we are and yeah, we're still short in light tanks. Okay. I didn't realize that I thought we were good on light tanks All right, we're still a little bit short. We'll wait to get those then uh, instead. Let's just go ahead and get uh, some more Could go ahead and change Yeah, I guess that's what we could do change more of these guys up to Kingsmen Yeah, I, I suppose that makes sense. Uh, we'll do that then uh, Let's just go and take a couple couple divisions and and start changing them over I'm just gonna take like five divisions in each and uh Get them changed over to the Iron Guard. And it's going to be 40,000 manpower. Yeah, a lot of equipment. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and have them go into that train army there. And this is what we'll do rather than uh, building new troops for right now. Let's get all these guys switched up. Uh, we're going to need them on that front. Uh, and this guy doesn't have any traits. Okay. He has an upgrade, but nothing to, nothing to get right now. Uh, so we'll just do like 10 divisions for right now. I think that'll be that'll be good. Uh, Iron Guard, it'll be eighty thousand total manpower, and it's gonna be a ton of equipment. Okay, uh, so yeah, this is gonna require a lot more equipment, guys. Might need to make some adjustments based on that. I'm not really seeing, yeah, not really seeing too many shortages here. But let's just take a look, see uh, if there's anything we want to to change up. Obviously, we have a lot going to support equipment. We need more going towards artillery, though. Uh, so we'll go ahead and have any new factories go towards that. See if there's anything else we need to do here. Pull from. No, we're looking pretty good for right now. Far stuff building, looking great. Uh, factory should be busy for a little while. Uh, let's see if we have any troops here that are done training. Uh, we do have one here. Uh, we could go and just change him up, I suppose. Yeah, we'll just change him up uh, since he's in here, anyways. Let's get him changed. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, equipment is going towards yeah reinforcements. Yeah. All right, so we're not even building anything, so it doesn't matter. Uh, Region-wide industrial. Okay, we, we don't want to do this right now. I know that we have some building slots available, so we're okay. Uh, let's go ahead and continue doing the anti-fascist raids, though. Uh, just taking a look at it. They're at 43%, 43.34, so they actually are ticking down now a little bit. Um, well, <laughs> kind of changes back and forth. Uh, okay. We're at 39.66% for, for a, not lying, though, so that is going up. Ever so slowly. I uh, remember we have that uh, this uh, uh, fascist influence, national spirit, until May 1943. So it's going to be a while before we get rid of that. Uh, we almost have the national focus completed, uh, so that's good. Yeah, it's we're barely even really making much of an impact there, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and do the anti-democratic raids as well, because uh, we do still have 15% democratic support. Uh, so we did get that national focus done. So now we have the war goal against the Turks. I guess what we'll do next is go after the modern artillery, I suppose. Yeah, that's what we'll do. 
All right, uh, Dutch East Indies has capitulated, so that's going to affect us in our trading. Uh, we don't need to trade as much steel, though, so we're going to pull this back. Uh, but yeah, now we can't get any rubber for them from them, unfortunately. Uh, now we're just going to have to struggle to find people to trade with, because uh, they're going to be losing their trade soon too, or excuse me, their rubber. Uh, we'll just have to trade with Siam. We'll just be short on rubber. That's okay for right now. All right, uh, so are these guys done training yet? Yeah, we do have several of them done training. Uh, so let's go and put them back onto their front. Yeah, we just gotta find them. I think they're both over here. Okay, so let's go and put these guys onto this. All right, excellent. Uh, so still waiting. What's the unfulfilled? Oh, we're not getting it from them either anymore. All right, so we'll have to trade with British Raj, I guess. Okay, uh, so I don't know if we'll be able to get the naval invasions complete, if we'll be able to do them or not. We'll just have to see how that ends up going. Uh, we will... I, I don't know that we'll have enough to, to actually control the seas here. The Turks do have like 20-something ships, so we might not be able to do the naval invasions uh, here, unfortunately. We can't go and set up this... Well, I guess we need the, the transport planes. How many do we have? Uh, we have two, so we can go and set it up. Uh, we would do it from... I guess right here. We need to set up the rest of those planes, too. My bad, guys. I didn't even realize that. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's first get these guys built out to about 10, I suppose. Be fine. Uh, and then we'll do the uh, the drops. Let's see where we want to do them. Hmm. I was going to try and cut them off here, but I don't know. The, I don't know if we'll be able to get it done or not. Uh, let's go ahead and get a, get, a, get a tech picked first. Uh, so we need... Let's do the paratrooper 2 tech. So we're going to get that. And uh, let me go ahead and set up these planes real quick. Uh, set up whatever air wings we have room for. Uh, so, because I know we have a lot in the stockpile right now. Uh, let's do fighters here. Oops. Make sure that we control the skies overhead. And then we'll also do just like one more close air support here. Get uh, one more air wing of close air support. Signed here in Greece. And then we can go in and sign them support as well. Uh, we're going to want to give them. Some fighters. They'll be assigned over here. And I think I mucked that up. Nope, nope, it's fine. And uh, do we have enough close air support to do... We do. What, I'll, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these ones first. I'd rather have these have the, the better ones. The close air support twos. And then over here, these will get the, uh, the shoddier ones. Uh, doesn't look like we actually have quite enough. Uh, so that's okay though. Let's go up to 200 and all the new ones will, will go over here. All right, so all of our planes are assigned. Now we're just waiting to get the invasion tech, which, uh, oh, did we, we got that already. All right, so we're not waiting on anything, are we? Let's go and assign these guys. Uh, we won't be able to do the invasion here. We can't get through here with our ships, unfortunately. Uh, so, I mean, we could deploy some of those new submarines over here, but yeah, it, it's fine. We'll, we'll have the, we'll have control of the straits soon and then we'll have free access there. Uh, but yeah, I won't be able to do that naval invasion until, uh, until we have, uh, control of the straits. Uh, these guys should be able to launch though. Let me just take a look. They're still waiting on the reserved convoys, of course, because we just got them there. Just got them assigned. All right. So what we're going to do, let's go and get these ships. Yeah, let's go and get these guys, uh kind of tasked out, create like a task force of, oh, we need to stop them from training though. Uh, create task force of like five, I suppose. And uh, that should leave room for one more. How about we do four here? All right, uh, so these guys are good to go. And are we ready for the war? Uh, we still need to set up this uh, pair drop, so let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, let's set them up to... Where do we want to, to have them drop, man? I could drop here at the port. I don't know if there'll be anybody defending it. There very, very, very well could be, and uh, then that could be bad. But I want to get these guys here cut off, the ones that are in Istanbul, uh, from building a back up. So you know what? Let's attack there and just see how it goes. If it fails, it fails, and we lose the troops. It is what it is, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and have... Uh, these guys make sure we're ready to pull all these ones out. Do they have all their manpower? They do, and they're not lacking experience right now. I don't think these guys... Well, let's give it a second. Let's see what happens here. Oh, these guys can actually get assigned, though. Got 19 on that side. 
And we don't have all our divisions fully trained yet, so we can just wait a little bit till we get that done. Uh, we got support weapons four. Uh, so what do we want to get next? Uh, I think we're yeah we're done here for right now. I, I suppose we can go ahead and get the extreme environmental training. Gives them more supply grace. Uh, that helps paratroopers out a lot. Uh, so I guess we could go ahead and do that. Yeah, let's go ahead and knock that out. I got encryption done. Uh, so let's go ahead and do. I guess we'll do the atomic research next. Get that research bonus. Okay, we should have got mechanized. Hmm. Yeah, because I'm going to want those for the medium tanks. All right, that's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and, and get the mechanized first. I do have a research uh, bonus for that as well. Um, you know, we get that bonus from the design company we have. All right, so yeah, these guys might actually be fully trained. Yeah, it looks like they're fully trained. Okay, so let's go ahead and have uh, where the hell they're at. Get assigned to their locations. And these guys are the Red Army as well. Okay, uh, so what, what I might do is just pull them all off the front. So they're not on the front line while they train. Uh, same thing here. I mean, I guess they don't... You know what? It's fine, guys. They don't need to be... They don't need to be fully trained. I just want to get this war started. So let's go to get them assigned. We'll let them get their organization stuff back up. Same thing here. Planning bonuses, organization, all that good stuff. It's already... We already have to wait long enough just to get all this done. Uh, so it's fine if they're not fully trained. Uh, we'll make sure that everybody's fully trained when we go to either the war with the access to the allies, obviously. Uh, I don't think it's going to be necessary for the Turk for the Turk war. Uh, we'll be fine. Uh, and it does look like all these ships... Uh, we can go and put them on the convoy rating now, I suppose. And then we want to put these guys on patrol. And hopefully that allows allow us to launch the naval invasion as soon as we declare war. Alright, so again, we just have to wait for these guys to get their organization back up. Uh, they'll be getting their planning bonuses up as well as their entrenchment. And, uh, yeah, they're almost there. I don't know, I'll give it probably maybe November 1st, declare war. Let's just speed this up since we're waiting. And more unfulfilled import requests. Uh, rubber troubles. I think we're going to have to trade even for just uh, shitty deals, man. I don't think there's any way around it. Yeah. We are going to have to start getting those techs. Uh, we're going to have to start getting the rubber techs. Okay. Because, uh, yeah, there's there's nobody to trade with. Now that the Allies have lost control of all of here. And since we don't want to trade with the Japanese, uh, these guys could go and go into a little training army real quick, I suppose. Let's go and get them training up. Any troops we get from the uh, Bulgarians. Sorry, that was my wife calling about dinner. Let's go and get these guys assigned. She just got off work. All right, so, yeah, just getting the... Uh, Organization up for all these guys. Um, looks like he's oh he's okay. He's got strength problems. Okay, uh, so I imagine that a lot of these troops might have some strength issues, and that's okay. Uh, as long as the organization is up there, planning bonus is close enough. Let's just wait till November first, and uh, then we'll get this started. Let's go ahead and uh, keep all these Bulgarian troops training up. Uh, not that they really need to technically, but yeah, we'll keep them training. Uh, gives more army experience to adjust our tanks. All right, so here on November 1st, we're going to declare war on the Turks. Let's go and do this. We'll see if anybody joins or not. Uh, if they, or I should say, if they join a faction. I'm hoping they don't. Uh, we will need to uh, pull the Bulgarians in, but we'll leave the Russians out of it. They don't need to be involved in this. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, we're going to go ahead and launch the... Yellow Army's invasions. That's also going to result in them launching here. There's no way around it, guys. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and have... Oh, there are troops there. Hmm. Yeah, we might not be able to win. Could just go after the capital, I suppose. Man, it wasn't part of the plan, but whatever. I guess that's what we'll do. And then I'll try and... Yeah, I don't know, man. Yeah, we'll just go after the capital. Hopefully nobody's there. I guess we'll see. <laughs> so, uh... Oops. All right, so let's go ahead and have them launch as soon as they're ready. And let's go ahead and start the invasions. Uh, so we're going to evade over this way, try and get these guys cut off here. We're going to attack with these guys here, and then just uh, we'll send the tanks in and have the rest of these support. Start pushing them back there. Uh, here, I think what we'll have to do, since we're not able to do the invasion there, is we'll go ahead and attack this way and try and get all these troops here cut off. Uh, and those guys can just continue doing their damn thing. Uh, naval invasion is not able to go. All right, that's a shame. I thought maybe uh, we wouldn't be able to control. Yeah, we just don't have enough control here, guys. Uh, just slightly too little, uh, unfortunately. 
Now we could assign, I guess we could try and assign one of these guys to like patrol and see if that will fix or help it at all. There we go. So we'll do that just so we can send that damn naval invasion. Uh, so we've got our free military factories here uh, that we seized from Tekken and Kara. Uh, so let me just take a look and see where we want to assign these. Still really short on, short on our artillery right now. Uh, so we already have 15 factories assigned there though, so don't need to build that up any further. Uh, we do need more light tanks, uh, so I guess we'll get those going. More light tanks for right now. That looks good. We do still need another factory assigned somewhere. What else is short? It looks like just the just the artillery. Okay. Well, let's do artillery then. And are having some steel problems, so let's trade with the Swedes for a bit more, and we'll just leave the one. It's fine, guys. I ain't worried about it. All right. So we have one here. Let's go ahead and start pushing forward here and here. And uh, these guys have now taken territory. What we might want to go ahead and do. We're not going to be able to do that again until we get control here. Uh, so let's start pushing over to get a, a, a port into our hands with these guys here. While well, these guys go after the airbase. And the last division, I suppose, will just stay here for right now. They're probably going to move troops all over here. We might end up losing those paratroopers. Eh, paratroopers are, you know, <laughs> sometimes hard to keep alive. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys push forward. All right, and um, we need to win. We'll go this way and just cut all these guys off, I suppose. Uh, this is wide open right here. Um, they're attacking that. Okay, let's have them stop their attack and just grab that province real quick. Uh, they're attacking us. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Let's go and send this guy over this way as well. Uh, let's see if we have finished here. It looks like they're attacking us while we attack them. Okay, uh, and let's go ahead and try and take Istanbul over real quick. Uh, we will go ahead and lock down uh, the troops that are here with the division. Uh, and we might need to go ahead and send another one in, it looks like. Yeah, let's go and send one more. Okay, that's not going to work. There we go. Alright, so should get Istanbul under our hands. Looking pretty good. This shouldn't be too challenging, guys, I would expect. Uh, let's go ahead and help out here, get this done. Have these guys go this way. Uh, and we did get Istanbul, so that did result in us getting all those factories and dockyards. Uh, so let's go ahead and put them into something. What do we need? What do we need? I guess we can do... We're pretty good here. Yeah, I mean, we're pretty solid overall. Did I put the planes up? I don't think I did. Let me just double check if we did. I, I don't think we assigned them. Actually got them flying. My bad, guys. Let's go ahead and fix that. And then these guys are all signed here. Yeah, this would really help if we had these guys out there actually doing their job. All right, yeah, that'll result in much better odds overall. Uh, a little bit of plane support. We weren't able to get here in time. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to attack across the river if we can avoid it. Uh, let's go ahead and finish getting these uh, factories and stuff assigned. Uh, we'll go up to, to five into the infantry equipment. We do have a lot to, to get upgraded there, and it only requires uh, the steel. Uh, so let's just go up to 20 for the artillery since it's the only thing we're short on. We're going to need a lot of that. Uh, overall for continuing to build out our divisions. Our dockyards. I hate that we're only building submarines, man. I guess we'll just get them going to convoys for right now, but yeah, we need to we need to get some damn techs, man. Some naval techs. Let's go and get oops. Oh, damn you. Alright, good to go. Alright, we have a uh, decision available, war propaganda. Uh, let's just go and say we're not interested in seeing that right now. I know that our war support's kind of low, but you know we're dealing with those other decisions at the moment. Uh, so these guys are tanking over here. Let's go and get these troops here wiped out, and uh, let's go and start pushing forward over this way now. Still waiting for those guys to achieve some progress there. We're taking that port, and that was it's unnecessary <laughs> at this point. But whatever, we'll go ahead and have them succeed and, and go that way. Uh, help us out here. So there we go, these guys have been cut off from supply, so let's go ahead and wrap them up. Get them destroyed. And bring these tanks over this way. And uh, you got those guys doing that, so we'll just have them go here. Yeah, that naval invasion was not necessary. I thought it would be a little bit harder to progress here than it was. Uh, overall, it ended up being fairly easy. So yeah, we'll get that naval invasion uh, finished up there, and then we'll stop the Yellow Army from uh, you know doing what they're doing. 
And they are giving up a... God damn it, man. What the hell happened? Did they get a bunch of troops, like, cut off? What happened, man? Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Uh, it looks like they... And that's why I don't put the AI in control, man. <laughs> like, you, you literally, you give them one tiny little order here, and they fuck it up, man. They can't even protect their fucking port. This is so... Then this is where the, the, the actual borders are, or the, uh, excuse me, the actual line is. The AI, man, it's so garbage. Good God. I know you guys get frustrated when I bitch about it all the time, but I mean, come on. <laughs> like, it is so bad. Like, they gave them one order, and this is why I don't use the AI, man. They're so bad. You just can't, like, do anything competently. Alright, so let's attack over there. Yeah, they got this whole yellow army pretty much destroyed because of their incompetence. It's awesome. Uh, we do have control here, so that does mean we'll be able to move our ships out. It's such a bummer, man, that they ended up doing this this way. Uh, we'll see if they'll be able to go or not. We'll go ahead and place... Uh, okay, so yeah, these guys are already on the patrol. All these guys are all doing. Okay, so we're good to go so far. Alright, so that's almost done. That was unnecessary, that naval invasion. But yeah, it does seem that uh, we got a bunch of troops cut off. I don't even know what they're doing. They're coming back here now. Oh lord, man. Let's go and have these guys push back. Whatever. Hopefully get there in time. Again, we'll be able to reconnect them here once we get these troops over here. But yeah, just... I don't even know what happened, guys. Yeah, they just got destroyed, I suppose. Uh, so those guys are now gone, so they'll attack over that way. Uh, it does look like these troops here are in a little bit of trouble. Uh, we weren't able to advance over that way. I guess we can attack with this one. Nope, he can't win. All right, so let's just stay here for right now, I suppose. Uh, these guys here are trying to go to another front. Let's not have them do that. Let's uh, instead give them, give them a front here. Uh, and the yellow army, we have to wait for them to finish that, so we won't give them an order just yet. Uh, let's just go ahead and start having them push forward here. And also here. I'm going to try and race across the country and get all this side cut off if we can. Uh, let's go and attack over this way. And we just need to get this wrapped up here. Unless these guys can... Uh, nope, there's a river there. Let's get this wrapped up. These uh, few divisions that are remaining here. Make sure they attack across this way. Alright, so should be able to advance over that way. Uh, and car, of course, is in our hands. It looks like uh, I should have created a front here. My bad. We'll, we'll have to do that once we actually progress. Uh, I'm not going to stop them. And let's go and attack over this way as well. And let's just hurry up and get this finished. Uh, so these guys can all advance over to this front here and start pushing them forward to try and save uh, the paratroopers over here. Uh, and we're going to try and get that airbase too. That'll be helpful to have. Uh, looks like, yeah, we did get the troops there in time. So they weren't able to uh, destroy our ports. And that's good. But yeah, I guess we got troops destroyed. I don't know. I don't know exactly what happened, guys. It's just kind of odd. I'm into this. All right, so let's push forward here. Is the invasion done yet? Nope, still going. So I'm gonna let that continue. And uh, let's go ahead and push forward this way. And then get this wrapped up. I know that we're gonna take some river penalties here. It's fine, let's just get it done, guys. Let's go get those guys destroyed. And uh, here, we'll go ahead and start pushing forward towards getting the rest of this taken here. Uh, and we do have unread naval battle. Uh, looks like uh, we sunk a Turkish submarine. Okay, awesome. A little bit of something. Nothing too exciting though. Let's go and make sure that all these troops here get assigned and uh, push forward. All right, so these guys will probably go ahead and push forward here. All of them are going to be coming over here. Let's go and have uh, all the our divisions get a planning bonus. And uh, whoever's here, I don't think there's anybody on that yellow army, so let's just destroy that. On that yellow front, and let's go and push forward, man. Alright, so these guys are going to go ahead and grab that territory for us. Yeah, we'll just get all these guys cut off and wiped out. Uh, still fighting here, it looks like that guy's done, so it's going to get him signed over to this front now. And still waiting on that damn naval invasion. These guys are attacking over here. Let's go and have these... Uh, this division attack this way, and he's gonna go after that victory point. And you guys over here. 
All right, so they are attacking to try and get their capital back. That's the problem. We need to hurry up and get our troops over here. Uh, we weren't able to get that air base. Let's go ahead and go from this direction then to try and get it. Uh, and then we're going to send uh, tanks over here as well. And, oh, man, I can't select them. And this guy will go this way. Go this way. All right. Uh, go ahead and continue pushing forward. Across the front, they're attacking there unsuccessfully, and we did finish up this naval invasion. That means we can go ahead and stop the yellow army and, and just manually control everything from uh, here on out. Uh, let's go and have the troops here attempt to get this all this territory taken. Uh, all right, so that looks good. Uh, this tank division unfortunately did get stopped, but they are cut off, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we'll just go ahead and get all this taken then. Let's go ahead and have these guys grab this for us. And then let's go here. All right, and then let's attack those guys. I know this is a rare penalty at this point, but these guys are pretty much cut off from supply. They're taking attrition, not doing too well, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, let's go and have them push over towards the port. And yeah, it should be a relatively easy conflict overall. Shouldn't be too challenging, guys. All right, let's go and have these guys push forward here. All right, looking good. Uh, still holding here, but got to get these guys liberated somehow. Yeah, uh, they're not gonna be. I don't think they'll be able to destroy them in time. Just trying to help out here where we can. Let's go and have one of these guys attack forward here. Oops. And these guys attack as well. I know that these are not successful, but it's okay. Just trying to keep the pressure off of our, our paratroopers. Alright, so that looks pretty much good for right now. Alright, so I still need to push forward into these victory points here. And let's go ahead and go after this one. Uh, though we might be quicker to get it here with those guys. Let's get those troops there cut off. And get these guys destroyed. Alright, just about done here. And then we'll go all the way across. Uh, well, that's not going to work for these guys. Alright, so looking pretty good, man. And this is... Going very uh, quickly, which is good. Let's go and attack over this way. And push forward, man. Keep on pushing forward. Uh, let's go and have those guys attack that way. Nope. There's no organization here, man. Yeah, we gotta let those uh, tanks get some organization. Uh, in fact, let's pull this attack back and attack with these guys. Uh, obviously, tanks aren't, aren't very good at attacking uh, mountain provinces, so. Yeah, that's the problem here. Uh, let's go ahead and have these guys stop doing patrols. Don't need to do that anymore. Just do the convoy rating. And we'll see what we what we did over here. Uh, sunk four Turkish convoys. Okay. Uh, maybe those were some troops, perhaps? I don't know. Uh, let's see what we're short on equipment. Is it just artillery again? Yeah, just artillery for right now. All right. Um, and I, I feel fine with the transports, where the situation looks there. Uh, so what do we not have, like, a lot of uh, for when we start building out more divisions. Suppose we do more light tanks. Yeah, you know what? Let's do more light tanks. I think we might be changing the light tank division design. Oh, that's light self propelled artillery. My bad, guys. Uh, we know what we want those as well, though. All the new factories will go towards those because I think we're going to change those uh, light tank divisions over to a 40 width design. All right, so these guys are already taking this territory for us. We'll just have one go up that way. And I don't think we'll be able to win there. Oh, yeah, we can. All right. They are cut off in supply, but I didn't know if uh, it was going to be good enough. Let's go and get these guys expanding out this way. And these divisions here, pushing forward here. And that'll cut these guys off here. Paratroopers are still fine. Uh, they're not able to uh, get them destroyed just yet. Alright, so that looks like that'll finally be a success. Uh, and that one might as well. And let me just see here. Let's uh, change this up. Have a sign like that. Uh, obviously all the divisions aren't assigned here. Hmm. I guess these guys are already all signed. All right, let's go and start pushing forward. Okay. So this is just about wrapped up. Let's go and finish it up. Uh, it doesn't look like those ones are going to be successful. We have to wait till we get some more troops. Let's go ahead and also have these guys start cutting these uh, divisions off here. Looks like that's going to be a loss, but it's okay. Uh, we are winning there and didn't get any troops cut off here, unfortunately. Damn it. All right, so that didn't go quite the way I would have liked it to. 
All right, so let's go ahead and continue pushing forward here and here. This is wide open. Might as well go ahead and start pushing forward towards the new capital. And there we go. All right, so very, very quick uh, overall. Uh, I wish I had seen how many casualties you took. Uh, I should have looked at that. It's fine, though. Uh, we didn't take much, though, I'm sure. Uh, so let's go ahead and just annex. Oops. No, no, no. My bad. Reset. Uh, we want to take all states. All right, so we're going to annex them. And let's say we are done. Okay. So now Romania is looking... A lot better. They never joined a faction, which was a concern uh, that they would join a faction and force us into war with one of the two sides. They could have joined. They probably would have joined the allies, I, I imagine. But yeah, they didn't join a faction, so that didn't end up being an issue. And here we are. We are done. Uh, so now, uh, if we're going to go to war with the the Axis, then we want to go ahead and start putting our troops upon that border uh, with the Axis and start preparing for the conflict with them. So we're going to want to go ahead and just get our planes uh, moved. Uh, we'll stop doing the, the current orders right now, of course. Uh, get them all kind of moved over to, to other locations. It doesn't matter where they're assigned at this moment. Uh, just put them anywhere. Uh, we'll fix it later, guys. All right, so those guys are good. Let's go ahead and take these ones and assign them up over here. Again, doesn't really matter what they do for right now. All right, uh, do we have any other planes in the stockpile? We have more fighters, so we can go ahead and get more fighters. Uh, we'll probably put like a air wing over here somewhere. Yeah, we'll just do like one small air wing over here. And uh, yeah, again, it doesn't really matter where they're assigned to. And then we'll see what we have left over here space-wise. Although I think that's 1400, so yeah, there should be plenty of space. So we're gonna put another fighter wing over here. Just put them all over there, I guess. And whatever, I'm not gonna mess with this. They'll fill it in themselves. All right, uh, so let's go and get all of our divisions assigned. Uh, and the first thing we're gonna do though is go ahead and get these guys put into this little training army that we have over here. Uh, we'll have the training army come over here to our capital and get any of the uh, troops that we had changed over to 40 with, uh, get them uh, added into that army. Uh, and just any troops that took some casualties need to get trained up. All right, so that looks good. Uh, the airborne troops, uh, we'll just move um, anywhere for right now. Just over to an airbase. Get them moving over to there. And then let's go ahead and assign uh, all of our troops. Uh, so the blue army we're going to have up along this side for right now. Again, this is not... Oh, well, that's against the Italians, isn't it? Uh, again, this is not uh, final, of course. Obviously. <laughs> Because it's uh, not going to be perfect. Uh, but for right now, it'll work. And let me figure out how, how wide these fronts are going to need to be. Uh, we'll do the yellow army on this side. It's probably going to have to be pretty wide until we get more, uh, more divisions designed. Yeah, I assume it's going to be pretty wide fronts. I'm going to go ahead and get the blue army a little bit more as well. Alright, and then just have the uh, red army here in the middle. Although we should have did it based on the flag, somebody had pointed out how we had the, uh, how we had it, uh, you know, perfect, where it was uh, blue, yellow, and red, and we could do that now, uh, blue, yellow, and red, uh, and switch them out if we wanted to, uh, so that we had the flag. But it's fine; I already did it, uh, so we'll do blue, red, and yellow. Uh, but yeah, the the colors of our, our armies fit the flag. That was intentional, of course. It wasn't, guys. I'm lying. Uh, so let's uh, have the red army assigned over this way again. None of these are are final. None of it really matters. Just getting them over there to their fronts. All right, so we get all those troops trained up. I imagine yeah, that some of these guys are going to be done here. Let's just going to get them assigned to the front. And who's the shortest? Yeah, looks like Yellow Army needs a few more divisions. Uh, we might want to take a look at our infrastructure throughout the region because uh, yeah, we're going to have some supply problems with all these divisions. So let's get them up to level five uh, throughout any region. I mean, these guys might be taking trade, but we'll just build it up anyway. I don't know if. Uh, the, I said trade. I don't know if supplies will go through there. We'll have to see how it looks once the yellow army gets there. Uh, but it does have to go through these ones. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just uh, build them all up to level 5. And we'll see how it looks, see if we need to make any other improvements once they all get to the location, see if they're uh, taking attrition or not.
Okay, uh, so looking pretty solid. Um, you know, obviously, the fronts are massive. I don't even know if we'll have enough for one division for every army. Uh, we're going to need to build a lot more troops. Uh, but before we do that, I want to go ahead and get some of these guys uh, changed over to the, the 40 West. Uh, we probably won't use many many of the, uh, the 20 West, but what I think we'll do is have 20 West here because this is going to have supply issues. So we'll put all the 20 wisps uh, along this side and uh, we'll get them just built out now so they have the, the full force here. Although they don't have any tanks. Let's give them a, a tank or two. Uh, how many does this army have? They have four, so we'll just do... Come on, there we go. And so the rest of these will likely be the... The 20 width divisions here. We need six. So it's going to take a couple from the blue army. And, oh, they're actually good. Okay, never mind then. I will just take a couple of these and put them onto the red front. All right, awesome. And uh, let me just take a look, see how this is looking here. Do we need the mountain troops here? Uh, not really. I mean, there's a little bit here, but you know what, guys? I prefer to have the mountain troops over here uh, on the blue front. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll just take one of these uh, blue army divisions here. And sign him over here. All right, and let's just take all of the non-20 width divisions, or excuse me, all of the uh, non-40 width divisions, all the 20 widths. Uh, I'm not seeing any. Looks like these these guys don't have any, uh, but we do have a couple here, and get them changed over uh, to the Iron Guard and put into the training army. Okay. So changing all to those 40 wisps does result in much better divisions on the front, but does use up a lot of manpower as well. So I don't know how we're going to be looking on manpower. Uh, let's see on equipment. We're, we're pretty good on equipment, though, so let's go ahead and start building some new troops, guys. Uh, we can get more paratroopers, which we do need. Uh, so we'll get those guys going. Uh, and then we're going to also go ahead and get... I know we need more CAD divisions, guys. I know that that's a problem. Let me just take a look. We have 10 of our own. We'll see if we have the manpower uh, available or not. Uh, let's get some more light tanks. Uh, obviously, I don't want to get a bunch uh, of divisions because we want to get those medium tank divisions, guys. Uh, so I don't think it'd be wise to go building like a ton of uh, a ton of divisions. Let's just do like three of these guys here, and we'll just kind of keep our eye on them for when they needed to deploy. And did I change them all to? Yeah, we did. All right, uh, we got forward observers. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and continue down and. We're just going to get the advanced fire bases. Won't use the experience since I want to use those for the medium tanks. All right, so we got troops over here training. I uh, don't know if they've gotten all their manpower. It looks like they might, so we could probably put them... Ireland just joined the Allies. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and put these guys onto the front. And uh, I think these guys just recently got added, so yeah, they don't... Uh, this guy might actually be done. Yeah, yeah, he's done. So I'm going to put him onto that red front. All right, so yeah, we'll get them all up to, to 24 width, uh, or excuse me, up to 24 division strength, uh, all uh, three of the armies, and then we'll start building a fourth army. Obviously, these fronts are way too wide. Frankly, I don't know if we would avoid using Bulgarian troops this time. I think we're going to have to use Bulgarian troops, guys. So let's go ahead and get the Bulgarian troops training. And I will just go ahead and build out a Bulgarian army uh, with the assumption that we are going to have to use them. Uh, with, the, with the exception of the cap divisions. Attenzione. All right, so we'll go ahead and just create a, a another army here uh, to just kind of fill in somewhere. Probably use them here to decrease the size of the yellow front, I guess. Yeah, uh, I don't even know if we'll keep them or not. We'll just have to see. Uh, and that'll allow us to tick the yellow army's front back just a little bit. Let's we'll see how that ends up looking. And, uh, because the yellow front was massive. Just pull this back here. Alright, we'll see how that looks. As far as, like, how, uh, well defended uh, the borders are overall. Alright. So let's go and speed this baby up, man. Uh, and let me also see what the hell this is. Oh, Chief of Navy. Okay. Uh, that's, that's right. Our, uh, fleets. We want to go ahead and do something with these guys. Uh, let's go ahead and get them... I guess we just have them all training, I suppose. Uh, so they detached. I didn't actually want them to detach there. Uh, let's just go ahead and have 
right, they continue doing whatever they're doing right now. Uh, and then we'll just get these guys placed over here, and then we're just going to take all of them and get them exercising. All the submarines will exercise. Okay, uh, so we are lacking steel again. We actually have a surplus of rubber, uh, so let's go and stop trading with the Brazilians since we're not really getting a good deal with them. And we can go and trade with, I suppose, the Americans. Okay. So just getting all our troops everywhere. We could give these guys a planning bonus. We'll go ahead and do that. Again, I don't even know if they'll actually be involved in the war. We'll have to see how our fronts look at that point. Uh, we got the mountain artillery knocked out. Excellent. So is that it? Uh, we could go after the nuclear reactor, construction speed. I, I suppose we'll, we'll go ahead and do the, the naval stuff first. Uh, so we can start researching these. Let's do the... I guess we'll do the capital ships. Takes so long to build them. We got the mountain guns. Okay. So uh, that'll make our uh, artillery faster in the mountains. And I don't know if these guys are done training. It's always hard to tell. Like, you got the manpower, and you're not entirely positive they, they're done. It looks like they're done. All right, so let's go and get these guys assigned. Uh, we're going to probably assign all of them to the, uh, the red front. Red front's lacking. Oops. All right, there we go. Get them going to the red front. Uh, we're at 20, 18, and 24 right now uh, with the 12 divisions over here. Uh, could, of course, increase this front a bit. Uh, I'd prefer not to use them if we can avoid it. Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, and are they doing good on supplies? All right, looks like we're not having any supply problems. Awesome. Uh, I was a little bit worried about that. Uh, so we'll continue getting that, that infrastructure built, though, even though it doesn't look like supply is going to be an issue. Uh, and I guess we can go ahead and build, make sure we're getting a, a radar bonus over here. So let's do it, like, right there. Let's kind of build little areas here. Looks like we got radar coverage th throughout the area, but again, um, we're not done building. Uh, we have the, the lower level radar, so it's not it's not great. Let's see what else we can do. I think we should probably start building fortifications. I don't know if we can beat the, the axis. Uh, so what I think we're going to do, I know this is a massive front, guys. I don't know how we, <laughs> if this is a good idea or not, but man, I think we're going to try and create a little bit of a uh, defensive border in this key region here. Remember, we do deal, we do build the fortifications pretty fast overall, and we already have some border provinces that have the fortification. Well, maybe not. So what I'm mainly thinking here is just in the areas where they'll be stacked up. I know this is going to take all of our, our infrastructure up for a little while. Just along here, um, yeah, I think that's the way we'll do it. And then we have all these forts here if they start pushing us back. I think that looks good for right now. I'm just going to take these down the bottom. We, we can build them up pretty quick, guys. It's just level 2, and it gives a nice combat modifier that really helps out quite a bit. Uh, so we got the T-39 medium tanks, so we can go and get the next level. Uh, do we want to start building those right now? No, no, we're not going to build those yet. Let's get the better tanks out there first. Uh, so we'll just research those, and we'll just wait. Still going to get mechanized too, so I need to remember to get that with the uh, uh, next tech slot we have open here. Uh, so we do have two more troops, two more divisions uh, done training. Let's put them into the red army. Just taking a look at the front, seeing how open it's looking. Uh, the yellow army does seem like it's yeah, it's too wide; it can't cover the entire front. Uh, so we can pull back the purple army just a little bit. So I'll just pull them back some. Uh, Liberia just joined the allies. All right, yeah, yellow front is massive. Uh, how about the blue front? How are they looking? Do we have all the provinces covered yet? Looks like just, yeah, just got it covered. Uh, red front is missing a couple spots, though. I'm thinking one here is what I'm seeing. Nope, two. So they're missing a couple slots. The yellow army obviously is missing several as well. Yeah, a few spots here and there. Adunara. All right, these guys are getting training, so let's go and place them into uh, the Red Army, since as we've discussed, they're the ones that don't have every province covered. Uh, frankly, this is not going to work, though. We're going to have to change this up, guys. Uh, we got the Paratrooper Tech. Uh, we, we already getting mechanized. That's right. I was thinking we hadn't got that yet, but yeah, we've got that going. Uh, we are in 1943, so uh, let's go ahead and start working on the 1943 Industrial Techs, guys. We'll start with the Concentrated Industry 5. Uh, we do have, uh, continue to have these damn rubber issues, man. Uh, because the allies are losing all of their rubber supplies. 
Dutchy Cindy still have some rubber though. So we'll trade for that. Uh, but overall, not seeing any successful allied invasions right now. And it does seem the allies are losing in Africa. I mean, you saw them push forward a little bit there, but and the allies are definitely the weaker of the two sides right now, guys, of the two factions. Uh, so I do think that they're going to provide the best challenge. Dutchy Cindy's already lost to the rubber they had to trade with us. We'll have to give another factory to Siam. All right, uh, so these guys are done, so let's go and throw them onto the purple front, which looks like it has just enough divisions right now to cover. Nope, not even. They're still short. All right, just a couple of provinces still uncovered, but yeah, one division per province is just not enough, guys. We're going to have to build up a lot more troops. Uh, let's see if the manpower will stretch, uh, stretch out that far. I don't know, guys. It's hard to say. I can always build some more troops, but I, I want to get uh, medium tanks, so we get to save our manpower for that. Uh, as of right now, we currently have... Oh, these guys are all done, so we can go ahead and take all of them and place them into this army here. And then that will allow us to stretch this front out a bit. Oops. I'll stretch it like so. And give it to the purple army, and we'll see how that looks. And then hopefully that allows allow us to kind of tick back on several of these fronts here. Like so. We got mechanized equipment. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and do the next mechanized. Uh, and we won't build any of this right now. We'll just wait until we get the, the most recent models. Uh, and still, problems with Siam, man. Yeah, short on eight rubber. Don't want to trade with the Germans. So, yeah, we're going to have to get the, that rubber tech, man. We're going to have uh, problems with uh, rubber shortages. So what we're gonna need to do, because we are short on rubber, is we're gonna need to pull back uh, on a lot of the equipment that requires rubber, basically. Uh, so the planes, uh, unfortunately. Let's pull that back a bit. Uh, that only leaves a shortage of five rubber, and I guess that's okay for right now. Uh, we got the medium tanks, and we got the mechanized. All right, so let's go ahead and instead put this, oh, we're actually good on factories. Uh, we can't go and trade for more steel, uh, so let's go and trade with the Americans. One more factory worth of steel. And these guys are all done training now. So that is going to get us up to 22 in the blue army. I guess we'll take one and put them in the red army. 21 and 22 uh, here. So we're lacking to have full three uh, armies here. Uh, and then we have these guys as well. So we'll have to move the paratroopers out. Lacking quite a few divisions. Oh, wait, we can move these guys instead okay so this is how it looks right now guys uh we're short in order to have a full four armies uh we're short what is this two five nine divisions right now uh and we have uh two training in the bulgarian army so that's seven divisions that we need to get uh, to have four full armies and this will be one two three four uh so we need to get like three more but again we're gonna build medium tanks we're gonna use our manpower for that uh, and get that production going it's gonna take us a while to get ready for the war with the access I, I think we're gonna need a lot more troops guys uh overall this is uh frankly not gonna be enough uh that push right through our lands even with the fact or even with the uh, uh fortifications built all the way across here i think they would end up defeating us uh so yeah we need to we need to build up more guys uh need to build up a lot more so we're probably gonna have at least one uh building episode on speed five where we just con continue to train troops um build up our army uh, build up our, our stockpiles, of course, uh, and continue switching up troops as well. I think we have switched up most of them. There's a couple here that I'm noticing that aren't switched, so we need to get him changed over. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that now while I'm thinking about it. Get him uh, training up. And I don't know that there's any other ones. No, we look good to go. Uh, with the exception over here, which, again, we're having because of the... Uh, no, we're going to have some supply issues here. But the change up the fronts as well because now the yellow front isn't isn't as long so we can decrease everybody else's fronts we'll do that next episode and we have a uh, navy experience i don't even know what we'd do with it guys we don't have any damn ship designs uh, to really uh, uh you know pour it into uh, frankly i would like to to start getting some more ship uh research done but man we got so much other stuff to get and it's really hard to justify it when, uh, you know, the Axis don't exactly have a large navy, I don't think. Let me just take a look. Uh, 28 to 33 ships here for the Germans. You know, maybe 70 ships for the Italians. Uh, just just not much of a navy, as, as you'd expect. Uh, let's take a look and see what the British have left. Uh, yeah, they have 300-something Americans, 200-something. I uh, remember they're fighting the Japanese, and the Japanese have 200-something. So the Americans might actually be losing the naval war right now. 
with the Japanese. That's the way it seems, anyway. Seems like they've lost a lot of ships. Uh, Japanese have been very successful in Asia, uh, taking a lot of land. And, uh, yeah, it just sucks that we got to keep pumping all of our, our uh, factories into, or dockyards, excuse me, into convoys. Uh, I almost want to go ahead and, I guess, just pull back on it. Oh, uh, well. I guess we could just go like this and just get more submarines, man. What we could do once we go to war with the uh, the access that we could then have our, our submarines patrolling all around here, all throughout the Mediterranean. And, uh, well, we won't build it up here, but obviously all throughout here and just sink uh, any any ships that are, are bringing uh, more than likely rubber and oil uh, from Asia. Uh, that's the ideal. Uh, just completely cut off the, the Italians and the Germans from any shipments of uh, resources. Uh, so that'd be our plan. That's what we use our big old massive submarine navy, which this is a significant uh, submarine navy for a uh, uh, small power, you know. Uh, these guys are not trained. Okay, we'll just put them over here. I don't really care. Just train up, man. We'll also train up our planes, too. Uh, it's not like we don't have the oil, so we'll train those guys up and give us more experience. Uh, also get those those uh, planes more experienced. So we'll do that next episode. And, yeah, we'll just have, like, at least one one episode of just kind of building up and, and getting ready for the conflict. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know, it might be a, it might need a second episode after that. We'll just have to see uh, how, how quickly we do it. Uh, but hopefully one episode would be about one year. And that would be enough, I'm hoping. Uh, and we also have to keep an eye on this as well. We're at 44% fascist, 43%. So fascism is still going up. I think we need to take uh, the anti-fascist raids again. And we could do the anti-democratic ones too. Uh, might as well. Let's go ahead and do... Uh, we could also ban democratic raids. Uh, but that, I think, does end up costing you yeah, quite a bit of stability. So we won't do that one. We'll just do the anti-democratic raids. Uh, so let's do that and that to try and get the uh, uh, not aligned ticking up quicker. But yeah, it looks like we should be able to offset it. Uh, obviously, you're spending a huge amount of political power doing this, so I wouldn't have wanted to do it in the early game uh, when we were, you know, ticking over towards fascism because yeah, we wouldn't be able to get all the stuff that we got. Uh, so uh, I think the only thing left to get, of course, is the chief of navy. So we'll do that as soon as we get this 120 political power. We're at 111 right now. And the one we're going to get is, well, probably co convoy rating efficiencies, and that's mainly what we're doing. Naval speed is great too, though, so... But I think we might go for this, since our entire fleet is made up of submarines at this point. Uh, so that would make them more efficient. Uh, so I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Uh, the Turks are conquered, guys, so next is going to be war with the Axis uh, to try and fix the map. <laughs> and uh, get all this territory conquered, and... Um, Maybe we'll give what what the plan would be would probably to give all this to Russia. Might give them, yeah, and obviously connect all this here, uh, and then the rest of it I'd probably take into our own hands. I don't know. I'd love to hear guys' opinion. What you guys thinking? Should we keep just this here and then give the rest to our puppet Russia, or should we? Uh, and that's another consideration. We got all their border too. This got to be worried about. So hopefully the Soviets can get some stuff built. Uh, let me see how they're looking. Uh, they have 1.73 man million manpower, so they do have a lot of manpower. Uh, they have nine divisions right now. Maybe we'll give them some equipment. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to send them a little bit of infantry equipment so they can get some troops built so hopefully they can defend their own border. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about what we should do um, in the peace tree. Obviously, we won't have a peace tree with Germany anytime soon, but I'd love to hear you guys' thoughts on what we should do as far as what we should give to Russia and what we should take for ourselves here. Uh, so uh, I'll see you guys on that next episode, and thanks for watching.